Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay visits Philadelphia's Zocalo, hoping to get an authentic taste of Mexico. Dear, come back here and help me. Yeah, right. But what he gets instead is a restaurant that has completely lost its way. Greg. I gotta get this food out. Check on your floor staff. No, I, Greg. Ironically, the restaurant that originally brought this couple together is now tearing them apart. Greg, I need beef by you. Working on it. Come on. Someone shoot me. Greg spends all his time at the restaurant. The whole weight of this restaurant is on my shoulders. And Mary Greg, Greg, Greg. spends all her time complaining about the restaurant. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's a standoff with no end in sight. Do you still love him? I know. It's not surprising that Chef Ramsay is in for one of the most difficult challenges of the year. You've got a big issue. Now you're thinking it's my fault. I believe. Can he get this husband and wife working together as a team and not as enemies? This is my life and I don't like my life. You don't want to miss the heartbreaking real life soap opera of Zocalos. I feel so. It's hard for me to watch. What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. University City, Pennsylvania. Nestled in the heart of West Philadelphia, this thriving neighborhood is home to two major universities, and smack in the middle is Zocalo, an authentic Mexican restaurant run by longtime employees turned to owners, Greg Russell and his wife, Mary. I was a bartender, and my wife used to make fresh tortillas, and the tortilla station is literally right across from the bar, so we spent a lot of time flirting with each other, and one thing led to another, and the next thing you know, we're dating, we got married, and then we purchased Zocalo in 2008. Hi, welcome to Zocalo. When Mary and I bought the restaurant, it was a dream come true. I thought it would be a storybook ending, but real life is not a storybook. Let me say something. You need people help you in the kitchen. Dear, come back here and help me, yes? I go back, help. Yeah, right. Do what you want. When Mary and I bought the restaurant, I thought that we were going to be partners. Right now, Mary works three days a week. That's it. But boy, I'll tell you, when she is here... Greg, what happened with this banana? It's too dry. She'll let you know. I don't know what you're going to really make. Big satin with the pork, and you can ready fresh. Come on, yeah, We sold six porks all night. I'm not going to leave uh, a big, yeah, yeah. huge stock yeah, pot full yeah, of pork yeah, simmering yeah, all yeah, night yeah, and then yeah, not sell it. Yeah, you all right. Do. This is a battle between them. Greg works all the time. He's all around restaurant working. Miss Mary, I ain't going to say she's lazy, but she's barely here. Honestly, when she do come, she makes it very hard to work. OK, I need B5 and B6 right now. B6 in my hand. No, B5 first. It's more stressful here at the restaurant when my mom's here. She likes to get her way. She's very, very controlling. What is Maria? And a lot of the problems come because she likes to tell everybody what to do. I know how to clean the table, but doesn't want to be there to work. Bring the food more fast, you understand? Help, help. Can you always help me, man? Help. Like, Maria. What? Come on, Cochina. Look at this. I didn't wipe this table. She comes across as. I. No, I no. I don't even know what word to use for that. If you really want it to improve, then get involved a little bit more. I don't like working. I'm sorry, Greg. What I'm asking you to do is support the restaurant more. I want to speak now. Yeah, that's enough. I definitely feel the restaurant is running my parents' life. They don't have, uh, like, a marriage anymore, really. I don't know if our relationship is strong enough to withhold the pressures of owning a restaurant. What I do know is I'm pretty sure that our relationship is not strong enough to withstand the pressures of losing our restaurant. Zocola. Okay, great. Look at those. Tin man. Wow. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Oh, look at this place. Hello. Eh? How are you? Oh, my God. I'm fine. Good. Nice to see you. Mary Russell. Mary or Mary? Mary. Mary. Mary Russell. What a beautiful place. It's gorgeous. Oh, I hope so. You wow. like it. Wow. I mean, it's authentic. Mexican, right? Yeah. Gorgeous. Do you want me to sit you? Please. 
I hope Chef Ramsey understand me because I have accent and he have accent too. <laughs> I, 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 I really very much Greg. Thank you. Excellent. Come in, the Chef Ramsey is here. I'm a little nervous about meeting Chef Ramsey and, and having him critique the restaurant because I know how intense he is. However, you met my wife. How are you? Hello, Chef. I'm well. How are you? Good to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Greg, isn't it? You. Yes. Good to see you. Sit down, but let's yes. have a catch up. Uh, please, take a seat. Um, take me back to the beginning. How did you end up here? How, how did you start off? The restaurant opened the summer of 1989. My sister was one of the sous chefs. Okay. She called me up. She said, look, can you help me out? I said, sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And I've been here pretty much ever since. Wow. What's the fascination with it? Every major change in my life has happened here. I met my wife here, you know, mm -hmm. her son was born while we were here. Wow, incredible. And I have yep. two girls. So okay. They okay. work here. Okay. So it's more of a family business than I thought. Oh, it's absolutely a family business, but, yeah. I mean, how's business been? The first six, seven months, I mean, we got great reviews from. You know, everybody loved it. So in terms of where we are now? This place is really slow now, no, no customers. What are we turning a week? We'd be lucky to do seven, 8,000 in sales a week, and wow. we need to be at about 15. So barely $1,000 a day. Yeah. There are days where sales are $300. Wow. I don't think that it's the best restaurant in Philly, but I think it's, it could be the best Mexican restaurant But it's in not the same before when you start, really. It's not the same before. So the food's gone down? I don't think it has. Take me through a day. Um, wake up 5.30 or so, drop my son off at school at 6.45. Um, stop at the produce market or, you know, wherever I have to shop because I do most of the shopping for the restaurant. Um, arrive at the restaurant about 8 o'clock, 8.30. I shake out the bar. carpets, I clean the bathrooms, I mop all the dining rooms, I the the check my emails, check the bills, whatever. Then I go into the kitchen, set up the line, start to prep for the Sometimes day. Sometimes I have to run out, you know, in between lunch and dinner to get something. Like dishes, start prepping for dinner, then clean up, and I usually get out between 11 and 12. Every day? Every day. That's a long day, Greg. It, it sounds ridiculous. When was your last day off? I worked every day for over a year. No break, no vacation, no nothing. No, just a year yeah. straight. Wow. Mary, where's your expertise coming? Are you front of house? Are you the kitchen manager? What do you do? Hello. Hi. Sometimes my wife's not here. So, how many days a week is she here? <laughs> Going part time. Okay. That's another thing that we sort of butt heads on. Yeah. In terms of debt, where are we? We're looking upwards of three quarters of a million dollars. Three quarters of a million? I mean, that's a lot of money. And that's... For a place that's only making eight grand a week. <laughs> How are you managing? Owning a restaurant that is declining at a rapid pace and on the verge of losing your house and, you know, everything else is... It's a lot of stress. I mean, I can, I can feel the stress from here, but... I mean, we argue constantly, and it's oh, well. sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Here we fight too much all the time. It's not. It's not my life. This same before in the beginning. She has told me on numerous occasions, if I can't meet my responsibilities and take care of the family, she'll move back to Mexico. I mean, I know that my wife thinks a lot of this is my fault. You know that it's not doing well, and I don't know if it's my fault. I know that's my responsibility, and that's the hardest part. So I'm not able to take care of it. Coming up. Greg, come on, hurry up. Gordon discovers why Mary and Greg can't work together. The food is late. What do you want me to do? Come on. And how fragile their marriage really is. My relationship is not the same the love. Can Chef Ramsay pull this dysfunctional restaurant together? You've got a big issue. Now you're thinking it's my fault. Or is this Mexican restaurant beyond saving? This is not the way to run a business. Within minutes of arriving, Chef Ramsay was greeted with a gloomy picture of the restaurant. I send this service right yes, now. Please. Now he's hoping that he can find some optimism in the food. How are you, darling? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. And your first name is? Maria. Maria. 
I have to say, it's a huge menu for one chef on his own. How does he manage all that? I don't know how he does it, but he's here 24-7. And how many days a week is she here? Three. Three. If that. Wow. Right. And she lost $19. The skirts take $23. So the food's not cheap, is it? No. No. Um, and what would you recommend? Oh, um... I don't, I don't know. I just never have it. Oh, really? You don't order your own food? Wow. It's crazy. I usually don't eat at Zocalo because the prices are not affordable at all. OK, let's start off with the queso fundido. Yeah, OK, let's get one of those. OK. And the uh, cochinita, the chili reno. And then uh, mocha OK. Yeah, I think That's we're sure. done. Thank you, Danny. Water? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. This is for Chef Ramsey? Yes. Order in, please. This is Chef Ramsey's ticket. It's not a three Michelin star restaurant. I know that. Chorizo fundido. But I'm hoping that Chef Ramsey tastes our food and says it's not a lost cause. You know, that's all I can hope for. 125, yeah? yeah. Mary, who, uh, who does the prices? The Buick. Yeah? Yeah. 23 and a half dollars for entree. I mean, that's not cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the queso fundido and flour tortillas that you can wrap it up with. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. It's just like a greasy mess. So full of oil. I can feel my arteries just squeezing. Mary, is that microwaves? I don't know. I'm done, thank you, though. Can't really. Let her fall a heart attack. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Chair Ramsey, you don't feel happy. Well, it's not good. Greg, are you putting that cheese on the microwave? Yes. Thank you. Here is the chili reno. Thank you. Ooh, that is a very weird looking grana. Salty. What is that? What is that? Sorry? So rubbery. Cheese is dreadful. Usually the cheese is melted inside. But it's spongy and rubbery, no? Honestly, that's dreadful, that stuff. Will you show that to Mary as well, please, Danny? Yes. Damn. I'm starving. Greg, look at the cheese. Chef said it's rubbery what kind of and... What you use? It's queso friere. Queso what? Friere. Eh? What is queso friere? It's similar to the queso fresco. And it wasn't available, so I couldn't get it. Hi, Greg. He doing whatever he want. There's no Mexican. You don't want to do it the same. Don't do it. OK. He say the cheese is prier. Prier. He said it was what cheese? Prier. 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 Uh, something that. That is no Mexican. No. That was dreadful. This is the cochinita pibio. This is the cochinita. Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas, thank you. With you, cochinita. There's no seasoning. There's no. It's all very. Uh, how it tastes? It's all very bland. Hmm. I think it needs to dry. It's very dry. Why is that so dry? Before I make the cochinita really good, but now oh. I know. It's I don't not better think so. when you made them. Yeah, now. Now that Greg's making them, they're not as good. Mm, yeah. I think you need to go back in the kitchen. I like the kitchen. In what way? It's all this. It's uh, just leave the floors no for work. I don't like the kitchen because it's too tiny kitchen and it's too hot. Do you see the kitchen? It's too hot. Let me go and check in how you next more cajete. Excellent. Come on. That's really dry. That's a serious. What you give to dry? I do it exactly how she says every time I do it. So if it's not working, well, then you come back here and do it. There's no good. Why do you give it to him? I don't know. Don't check on your floor staff. No. Huh? Don't check on your floor staff. Hi. Hey, this mocha is coming up. This one should at least blow his top this time. Let's see. We're batting zero so far. <laughs> here we go. So, this is the mocha I like something out of Harry Potter. I feel like I'm a facial from steam. 
Okay. That's the, uh, the cactus. cactus. Yeah. Cheese, heebie jeez. Let's have a little taste of the cactus first, shall we? There's your bit. Mm. It's like okay. eating the inside of a golf ball. Needs to be more cooked. Needs Maybe to be seasoned, more. bland, there bitter. They cook cactus like that in Mexico? No. In Mexico, they shoot you for that. Mm -hmm. It's like caca. I feel a little angry, embarrassed, frustrated. I think it maybe he don't like nothing. <laughs> he said caca. What is caca? Come on, man. I stand by my food on a personal level. I'm like your little brother. I just feel so sorry for you right now. I am certainly not on Chef Ramsay's level, but I think that what we have on the menu is good, solid, quality food. Greg. Let's go through, big boy. Yeah? Uh, right. OK. Here's the thing. The food's below par. I don't know where to start. The queso fundido, that was hideous. Do you microwave it? We do part of microwave it. I mean, so when you microwave that cheese, all the fat comes out twice as fast, it becomes like an all-stick on top, which is a disgusting. The conchonita pibia. Dry. The cactus bland. The chili, you know, that, that, that. the I, cheese inside there was weird. The it was a queso frere, it's called. It certainly wasn't worth the price, let me tell you. I, I felt almost like I was being robbed. You put your neck in a noose when you're charging $23.5 for that. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't pay. I told her. Hold on a minute. I didn't come up with the prices. Oh, hold on a minute. You don't come up with the prices. You told me Greg does. Who does the prices? Greg. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny, uh, Mary. I didn't change the prices on this menu. Sometimes you say, Greg, what is the queso chihuahua? Oh. I tell you how much it is per pound, but I don't tell you to let charge me, $11. Let me finish, let me finish talking. I did not make a case of Fundido $10.95. I said, why are you raising the prices? I think that's ridiculous. But you say to me, that is too expensive. You didn't consult with me on the prices. The, on this oh, price yeah. change, you did not consult with me. Who raised oh, the prices? You. Yeah, I did it. You've got a big issue. Yeah, let me tell you. The difference is only 50 cents or... $1. I'm sorry, it's just a way of driving more customers away from the business. Let me finish talking. I don't know Mary, the you price can't I don't know the cost. You can't okay, let chase me finish. revenue. Let me finish. Let me finish. You can't chase revenue by increasing the prices. Now you're thinking it's my fault. I believe. Come on, guys. Bye. While the owners blame each other for Zocalo's problems, Chef Ramsay knows that dinner service will be more enlightening than anything this husband and wife have said so far. Well, you're ready, right? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Everything's set up. I absolutely feel hope having Chef Ramsay here. Obviously, there's something that we're doing wrong, and we just need an outsider's perspective, and there's nobody else better to do that than okay. Chef Ramsay. How's the line work? Take me through it. Yeah. Um, obviously, two fry laters, a grill, two ovens. This oven doesn't work. Only the one side works. Ready? You haven't got a handle. Well, that, yeah, no. but it doesn't work. It's a dinosaur, that thing. Yeah. And you've got no pilots on either. The pilot lights don't work. I mean, we, you know, I carry the gas match with me. As if you haven't got enough to do. So. Right. There are a lot of things that are not working as properly as they should. My old sous chef used to love to rip the top off. I just do what I have to do to make it work. It's like Frankenstein. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? Did you have any questions on the menu at all so far? I'm going to do the quesadilla. Me too. Sorry. Okay. I'll get the queso fundido. Order in. Mushroom fundido. And mushroom fundido. Are we going in the microwave or are we going to do it properly? Mm. Sounds like the microwave. Sounds like the microwave. Sounds like the microwave, yeah. The microwave is definitely like our big bell out. Because the food is always getting backed up. You see, here's the bad news. The microwave takes the fun out of the fundido. Yeah. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Fire B8, please. Fire H2, please. Fire J6, please. J6. No, no, don't worry about any of that. Yes, sir. Is one of these fundidas mine? Yeah, I can't keep track of whose they are, dude. I need my guacamole for H6. You got to hold on. Is B4 coming up? I fired that 20 minutes ago. Everything's coming, dear. I only got two hands, all right? 
I'm getting really frustrated. My food should be up on the line, and it's not because Greg tries to do everything himself. Want me to start plating them up? Yeah, I got them, I got them. You're good for right now. Greg is definitely getting backed up. He's like, I'm here to help you. All right, can you grab me a... Uh... No, I'm no, Michael. There is no question that Greg works hard in the kitchen. You good, boss? Want me to jump down there? I got him, man. But he also prefers working alone. Mm -hmm. Which translates to painfully slow delivery of food. It's kind of hungry. It's been an hour. And unhappy customers. How long you waiting? 10 minutes, 20 we minutes? We ordered like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? OK, yeah. let me check. Greg, I need beef fight right now. Babe, I can only got two hands, yes? I Everybody's know, waiting. But it's only chicken enchilada, small and pork. Come on. You want ice cold pork or do you want it hot? Oh, give me number five. B five, please. The food is late. Here, I'm working on them. I'm working on them. Oh, my God. There's seven of you out there and two of us back here. She's killing me, man. Yeah, I feel you. I can't take her coming back and telling me that I'm doing it wrong or it's taking too long. It's deflating. B five. It's coming right now, dear. OK, I got it. After customers wait as much as 90 minutes, Greg finally pushes food out of the kitchen. OK. But when the overpriced, slow food arrives, I don't like this at all. it does little to please the customers. It just tastes like someone like dumped a bunch of salt on it. The, the, this is really greasy, so I'm not sure. Really what? Greasy. So greasy? All right, pork chicks and twirls, shrimp, mojo, sloppy bear. Greg. One my chilas take him back because again. Babe, I got to get this food out. OK, but you need to understand what is the problems right now. I can't talk to you right now. Let me finish. OK, dear. I don't get mad at Mary for telling me to what the customer feedback is. And everybody is complaining with enchilada. But she wants me to sort of drop everything and listen to her. Despite Mary's constant critiques, Come on, Greg. Greg keeps it together. Right, we're in the home stress, man. This is the last table right here. And finishes dinner service. Thank you. Have a good night. Guys, can you just leave us alone for two minutes, please? No problem, no problem. OK. Greg, it's just not the way to run a business. You're so submerged into it that you you don't even realize what you've taken on. And you have a wife that is happy to see you do that. So I'm pissed with her in the way that, I'm not saying she's driving you into the ground, but I didn't see any support there tonight. I'm sorry, I mean, I, it's a big difference between nagging and, and being supportive. The whole weight of this restaurant is on my shoulders. You know, she says, hire somebody to cook. Well, the money's not there. You know, whatever, what am I gonna do? Guys, can you just give me two minutes, please? Please? I'm worried, Greg. I don't know any other way to do it, Jeff. Have you ever actually sat down and said to me, I, 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 I need you in here, whether you like it or not? And if I didn't know the background, watching the way you two liaise with each other, I'd never believe that I was husband and wife, ever. We don't act like husband and wife ever. anymore. It's, it's just too dangerous, buddy. It's just. It's, it, it's so fragile in here. It's all built around just you and between you and I. Do you think that's healthy? Come no, on. I don't think that's healthy. Come on. My family depends on me. I don't want to let them down. You can't do it on your own. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. I can't let it fail. I mean, I just can't. Coming up. Can Chef Ramsay mend Greg and Mary's fractured relationship? Just to love it. And later. Talk to me, talk to me. Mary is on the warpath. Fire H5. Hurry up. And nothing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Please. Or nobody. Please, go. We'll get in her way. Hurry up. Why? That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. Without question, Zocalo has a lot of issues. But the one issue that needs to be dealt with immediately is the decaying relationship of Greg and Mary. And Chef Ramsay has a plan to do just that. Morning, Greg. Good morning, Chef. How are you? Yeah, well, thank you. Um, yesterday was a huge eye-opener. And I've got one very important question to ask you. Do you feel let down? 
Yeah, truthfully, I feel a little bit let down because I don't feel that I'm getting the moral support. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to do something for them, and I don't mm -hmm. think that they see that I'm doing it for them. I think that they think that I'm doing it for me. But I don't think they quite fully have digested what happens if it does close. They've all told me, why don't you just close it? And I said, you don't understand what the ramifications of that are. We lose everything. Yeah. I mean, everything we lose. OK, come with me. I want okay. to show you something. I want you to watch something. I can't want you to sit down. Um, watch this program. I think you're going to find it quite interesting. With Greg watching closely on the monitor. Hello, how are you? Hello, well, how are you? Hello. Chef Ramsay has arranged for a chat with Mary and her daughters, Gabby and Anna. Uh, I spent some time with Greg last night before we left. And I, I saw a lot of frustrations, a lot of pressure. Do you see how desperate he is? Can you read that or? It's hard to read. We know that he's struggling, but he just doesn't speak out. So it's kind of hard for us to get it out of him. Yeah, it's just something that you see as a outsider. So he shuts down? Yeah. How long has that been like that? I you... say ever since, like, pretty much the restaurant started. I always say I'm like, I felt like my parents were much happier before they owned their own business. They would go out, have fun. Exactly. <laughs> and right now, yeah. he's just living. I mean, surviving. Right. Do you think he's happy? No. The way I see it, the restaurant's sucking so much life out of him. And we try to get him to break out a little bit, but he just refuses to. He is just so stubborn. Like, he just will not leave sure. Zocalo. I don't think he he's can. Like, he's such a one-man band. He does everything and anything. What would you do if you fell ill? What would you all do? I continue running the business. I personally don't think you can. I'm sorry. Oh, really? I don't feel afraid. Well, how are you going to do it, Mary? How would uh, it work? I, for me, I put in one really chef behind the kitchen. But we haven't got money for salaries. If he stops, this business would close. I don't think he realize what he's doing for all of you. Everything he does is to keep a roof above your heads. Not because he loves doing it. And I don't think he feels that he has the emotional support. That's what's eating him away. I think that one of you could do a bit more. Mary, are you willing to support him? Do you think deep down inside you could do more? In here? Yes. I can. Why? Because I need thinking in myself too. He cannot do it alone. Yeah, but really, I don't want to do it something I don't like it. Let me put it this way, Mary. Both of you wanted this dream. Yeah. You but... encouraged them. This is your responsibility, whether you like it or not. Right now, you're only here three days a week. And when you talk to him, it's not done in a constructive manner. You nag him. You can't lay into him like that. He's your husband. When you guys met, you were deeply in love. Has your love changed now? Now it's not the same. My relationship is not the same, the love. I don't feel the same. The... I feel, yeah, exactly. Do you still love him? I know, and really, Now, wait till you see him. It's not good enough. In the guest suite. We deserve better. Gordon Ramsay is back. I'm not sleeping in that bed. Transforming one hotel. Thank God I brought this. At a time. This really is Hotel Hell. Hotel Hell, a new series. Oh, God. I forgot to turn off the lights. Check in this June on Fox. After confronting Mary about her lack of involvement in the restaurant. You're only here three days a week. And you talk to him and you nag him. You can't lay into him like that. He's your husband. Gordon probes a little deeper about her relationship with Greg. When you guys met, you were deeply in love. Has your love changed now? Now it's not the same. My relationship is not the same, the love. Do you still love him? I know, and really, I think he needs to hear. As a matter of fact. Greg, come through, please. <laughs> 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 
Chef Ramsay, it's right. We're not being as supportive as we could be for Greg. We just are so used to him doing everything that we don't realize that it's affecting him negatively. Isn't that nice to see, ladies? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that on service last night. I wish I did. I know. Listen, I know it was hard. I appreciate it. Spend a couple of minutes together. Thank you, Chef. I listened to the whole thing. I saw it all. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, emotionally, I need your guys' support. I mean, I just, I do. I believe the support is there for you. Even though if we don't actually say it all the time, we do support you and whatever you need, just speak up. That's all we need. Yeah. Let us know how. It's very difficult for me to ask my family <laughs> for help because as the head of the household, I always thought it was my responsibility to take care of my family. Take care of the family is not just you. I'm here. I'm here. He really is the person I love. The person really gave me all my life different and happy. And I think he is a good guy. A really good man. I want to love you, change together. I respect what you say, and it's possible to work together. It was a tough thing to watch, but it was sort of an eye-opening experience. While I may say, I can just do it myself. I can just do it myself. I need their help, and it's good to know that they're behind me. This is fantastic. Listen to you guys communicate. Can I just quickly show you something? Sure. Yeah, please. Come through. Come in. Man. Holy crap. It's your new oven. Oh, it's my God. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Wow. You have the most amazing South Bend 10 gas ring burner. Stunning. Two superb, super hot ovens from my friends at Color Quit. It's gorgeous. It is a perfect piece of equipment for a small, busy kitchen, let me tell you. It's phenomenal. Oh, thank, thank you, Chef. So Unbelievable. I was floored. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's my first real new piece of equipment, and it's unbelievable. Clearly, a brand new oven will be a major help to the kitchen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But Chef Ramsay's brand new menu. Come through. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Will make an even more dramatic impact on the future of Zocalos. Look at the menu. It shouts out fun, cool, hip. Yeah, it does. OK. Right, let's start off with this end. Case of Indeed. Done beautifully. We've got the oven. We can do this properly. Yeah? Nice. Albondigas, classic meatball soup, robust and delicious. It's a lot cheaper than we were serving beforehand, but we need traffic in here. Next to that, empanadas. Got that nice authenticity to it. Quesadillas, chicken, pork, beef, or shrimp. Absolutely. We've lined it up with the fish, snapper, then with bell peppers, onions, green olives, and capers. Beautifully done, grilled, and taste stunning. I love it, Dad. Get some knife and forks. <laughs> Dig in. Mmm. The salsa is perfect. I actually really like the enchiladas. Wow, that is really good. I can't wait to serve our clientele the new dishes. I think that they're really going to enjoy them, and it's going to open this place up to a whole new demographic. I love the albondiga. Mm. Oh, God, this is so good. To go along with the massive change of the menu. OK, let's go. Chef Ramsay has another surprise for Zocalo. OK, since I've been here, I've never seen such an antiquated way of ordering. So this is what you will be using. <laughs> oh, my God. What is wow. that? Oh, nice. This is your new POS system wow. provided by Zephyr Hardware and POS Lavum. Now, you go to the table oh my with God. your tablet. Oh my gosh. The orders go straight through to the kitchen. We'll have the pictures of each and every dish. Oh and Greg, this system can track your infantry, manage your sales. It's unbelievable. And by the way, you swipe the credit card here. Oh, oh my God. You then yeah. sign on the pad. Oh my there, God. take that. Oh <laughs> I'm like, it's so cool. You, you can do everything just from this one little device. I'm super excited to use the new POS system. That's <laughs> what? Our dream. Yeah. Mary, you okay? I say it's our, our dream that Greg and me wanted before for a long time. Good. And I have the dream now. Good. This is a new beginning for us. We get to do it over and start out on the right path. Are you happy? Mm-hmm. 
Chef Ramsay knows in order to have Zocalo's kitchen run properly, come in, come in, come in, come in. He needs the restaurant to be properly staffed. So he has created a program with Drexel University to supply culinary students to the restaurant. I'm working in a stunning little Mexican restaurant called Zocalo. Is there any possibility that I could take two very strong students and give them some on-the-job training? We have just the two students you're looking for. Already? Oh, it's great training for the students, and it provides Greg with much-needed support. I want them to fit around you. Great. These guys, not just top of the class, but hungry and um, are keen to really get behind you on this one. They look good. It's absolutely a relief to have some help. We're going to mix this with some spinach and a little bit of what we call chihuahua cheese. They're going to make all the difference in the world. Nail it, yeah. Nail it, nail it, nail it. Uh, Mary, two seconds. Greg, two seconds, please. Now, this is where it really counts. I need you to step up and I need you to expedite. Yeah. But don't let the standards drop. Right. You've got a brigade, so there's no excuse now. We okay. can do it. Come on. Yes, yes, yes yeah? sir. I'm really excited. I'm ready to change. And I'm ready to help together with my husband. As the doors open for the relaunch. How are we, darling? Welcome, welcome. There is clearly excitement in the air. For the first time in years, Mary and Greg face tonight's challenge, united as a team. Okay, ready to order? I'll have the chicken quesadilla. I'm gonna get the tacos. Push the sun button. Yes. We're good. Now it's gonna begin. Burrito carne asada, burrito chicken, mocajete, steak. I'm a little nervous going into service tonight. I have a team, but it's a brand new team, and I'm really rusty with delegating, and what I need to do is remember how to communicate. All right, here we go. I need steak for a mocajete. Got it. Let me know when you're ready to fry that. Good. Good, good, good. So next is quesadilla, shrimp, and pork chop. Drew, I need that chicken quesadilla right now. All right, Drew, do me a favor. Can you get that enchilada set up, rice and beans? So now next, X5. Hold so on, babe. Enchilada, quesadilla, chicken. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me one second, babe. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm tired. Say all the time, talk to me, talk to me. H3, burrito, carnitas, and relleno. I told you twice. Hold on. Carnitas, relleno. What's she doing? Greg is doing a great job. I could hear him talking to the kitchen, but Mary, she's just yelling at Greg, so nothing's getting done. Okay, fire H5. Do not fire. Fire B6. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. I am working with you, serious. Why you not fire? Mary, why? I need the relleno, guys. That'll be next after this table. Hurry up. Oh, I need to know when I can drop that relleno. It's not even fire. Mary, don't talk about things that are fire. God. Mary's not helping. It's so frustrating. She's really just yelling. We don't need that right now. What we need is communication and to get this food out on time. How long for B4? I okay. need B4. Okay. Although both Mary and Greg are dedicated to making tonight a success. Yeah, but they have not gotten their food. There is a communication breakdown between the two. We have been waiting forever. Which is causing the kitchen to get backed up. Serious, Greg. Uh, I can't believe. And Mary to lose her patience. What are you doing here? I'm reading my tickets. This is we don't don't see me. Anymore. Please, go, go, go to go out, please. When I'm uh, your food ready, I'd let you know. Greg, I need food going out of here. OK, yeah? Hurry up. I'm losing focus. I'm really worried that we're not even going to make it through service tonight. Fire on J1. Slow down. Oh, my god. Come on, guys, please. Hurry up, hurry up. It's 45 minutes into Zocalo's relaunch, and Mary's expediting is not at all in sync with Greg and the staff. Fire H5. Do not fire. Fire J1. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the kitchen is at a standstill. We have been waiting forever. How long has it been? 45 minutes. And a successful relaunch is in jeopardy. Mary, two seconds, please. Please. This yeah. could make or break this restaurant. Yeah. And it's so important. Communicate. Okay. All right. Please. Yeah. I need to do better communication tonight. Babe, I'm sorry. I helped you. OK. Constructive help. Yeah. yeah. Please. Mary, tell me what's fired out there. J-8. All right. Go H4. one at a time. Wait a minute. J-8. Got it. What's the next one? H-4. OK. H-9. H-9? Yes. All right. Hold on. Everything's going to be a couple of minutes, because I just got reorganized here. Can you fire B-5 first, please? Yes. Drone, I need all that right now. Help him out. I don't know if Chef Ramsay gave this Mary a pill or something to change her attitude. Fire J-2, please. J-2, fire. Thank you. But it was definitely like a different Miss Mary. All right, I'm waiting on two street tacos. All right, just waiting for the meat, the rest. That'll sell B4. Greg has everything under control. He's being the person that I was looking for to be, you know, years ago. <laughs> With little time to spare, 
Mary has made a major turnaround. This number, please. I know this one took a while. I'm sorry. Thank you. And is back on the same page as her husband. Two empanadas, J2. Two empanadas, J2. Four tacos up. Thank you. And as a result, the kitchen is now running like a well-oiled machine. I like it. I love it. Tamales and tacos. These are the tamales with the short rib. Thanks so much for being so patient. Thank you. The shrimp is really good. This is delicious. Well worth the wait. Thank you. Awesome. Next table coming up, J9. J9, OK. Got a minute, 15 seconds, babe. I'm very proud of my parents working together and cooperating and helping each other out. That was really, really awesome. On the last two checks, just so you know. I love it. <laughs> In the beginning, it was a little hairy, but Mary really stepped up tonight. It's just a whole different attitude, which is much easier to respond to. That's a really good, yeah? Very good. It's been a long time since we were able to work together. It feels great. All right, that's it, gentlemen. See you guys. Let me tell you something really important. When I first arrived, I saw you on an island, trying to survive, isolated, your family drifting away. But on the back of tonight's performance and what we've gone through this week, I see a completely different story. Watching you two working as husband and wife, when it's constructive and it works, it, it sounds magical, let me tell you. You're good together. Mary, we've had our ups and downs. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> You know more than you let on, let me tell you. Expediting, you work bloody well. Greg, do you still feel that you don't have their support? No, I feel that I have their support, totally. They killed themselves tonight, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it from each and every one of you. This restaurant can be a success. Just keep supporting each other like you did this evening, OK? Finally, the family coming together. I feel really incredible. My dreams is right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go too far. I'll be back. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> uh, well done, you, Chef. Thank you very Seriously, much. Seriously, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Okay? You Thank deserve you success. Really. Good job. Really. Look after each other. Okay? Yes. Good night. Thank you, Chef. Oh, family. Yes. <laughs> we were at such a low point in the beginning that I didn't know whether we were going to make it or not. Yeah. But you're in the kitchen with me. Yeah. yeah. I feel a lot of hope for the future now. Okay. We can do it together, yeah? I can't remember a kitchen nightmare where I am rooting for the owners more than these two. Greg has to be one of the nicest owners I've ever met. Mary, well, there's definitely something about Mary. What a character. Amazing. Now, these two are on the road to success. My only hope is that they stay on it. In the weeks that followed, the dinner services at Zocalo's got smoother and smoother. Are you ready for your H.A.? Yes, ready. The Drexel students became an integral part of the brigade. This is J8 coming up first. Yes, please. All right. Mm, the burrito. Is it? And more importantly, Greg got what he always wanted, his family's support and his wife Mary back as a true partner. I have this bag. I have this Zocalo bag. I am so proud of what we've achieved together as a family. As long as we stick together, it's going to be a fun ride. This summer, Gordon checks in on America's worst hotels. Hotel Hell coming to Fox. Bones is back, now on Mondays. You're going to sit tight, okay? Why? Because I don't want our baby born in a prison. Why not? Their infirmary is an accredited health care facility. Uh, Fox Monday. I'm in labor. Right, he's in labor now. I Late both. Giving birth. We're not going to make it to a hospital. Just pull over. We're going to make it. Pull over now! Is just the beginning. Push, Bones. That's it. Push. Push. Bones, all new this Monday at 8, 7 central on Fox.